We are on the south side of the island in a small fishing village called Schwozel. Um, fishermen go out every morning. This is my favorite place to go out and get some fish. We got some fish this morning, right? Yeah, we got some nice line fish on the fisherman on, on, a, on a net and a couple of small barracudas which we'll be cooking today. Outstanding. Um, can I do the um, lion fish? I haven't done that for a long yeah, time. Yeah, you can do it. Um, I'm, you know, I'm going to use a little piece of bamboo and I'm going to do the barracuda inside of it. Rubbing by the leaf and some spices. That's what we're doing. You got that this, this afternoon? Yeah, this afternoon. Bamboo. So you got dashini for yourself, grab the lionfish and your season and we're gonna make the fire now. Okay. Let's do the stones, huh? shall we? Uh, huh? Yep. And no, I don't have a flint. I got a, bo a box of swan, you know. Okay. <laughs> uh, voila, look at that. Cool, cool. <laughs> Right in the heart of Schwazel village, right by the port. Today I will be cooking a barracuda in a green bamboo with a bit of chili, onions, garlic, parsley, and a little bit of the barren seasoning. That's a simple old kind of Asian ways, and I think probably the carry way, whether it's to put the, the meat or the fish you know, in a bamboo. Green bamboo has a lot of water content. So when you put this on a nice cold fire, it's supposed to steam it. And also to protect it for any kind of Cheers, whatever. I'm going to wrap the fish in the banana leaf. As you can see, I got onions, chilies, parsley, some garlic, which I'm putting on the side right now. And now here's my fish. Young barracuda caught yesterday. As you can see, it's beautiful. It's been scaled and cleaned already. What I'm going to do because of the size of bamboo, I'm going to cut the head just to fit the bamboo size. Now sometimes you can, you, can, you can keep the head on if you wanted to, you know, because there's a lot of flesh as well, but some people rather not to do that. And also, to make it more fun, I'm going to also cut the tail. Now that's a very kind of fun way to cook it on a barbecue sometime. You can really have some fun. Now you can see the fish is nice and clean. What I'm going to do is I'm going to score it a little bit. That will speed up the process on the corn as well and infuse the seasoning at, at, at the same time, you know? So it's quite important to do this. And you can see it, the, fle the seasoning will really gonna infuse into the flesh at the same time. You know, just a very nice spice. A little bit of anero seasoning, which is kind of garlicky, salt, parsley. That also gives a nice flavor with the fresh garlic. I'm using a little bit of, kind of almost like a, a saffron, curry, aneto, anero as well. I'm putting a little bit of the barren hot pepper sauce. Now, this stuff, I swear by it all the time because that gives a kick and a half. You can marinate the fish a little bit with all that seasoning and the pepper. You see, it starts to go really into the flesh. Turn it over a little bit, turn it back in, and it's almost perfect. Now, the idea of that after that is to put a little bit of parsley inside the body, a few onions inside too, and that's the fun part coming because now, when you put this into the bamboo, you're really gonna get this flavor coming out very, very seriously on this. And I'm gonna be about to be ready to put that in the bamboo, so I'll see you in about a few minutes, and we're gonna stuff it and put it on the fire one time. Right, time for cooking now. So, what I've got is a piece of bamboo, banana leaf, and some lime leaves. I'm putting the, the lime leaves on the bottom of the banana leaves, and I'm gonna put my barracuda season right inside and wrap it up nice and tight. And now I'm going to insert this, funny word, into the bamboo. And we will put this on the fire for steaming. And then, with the end of the banana leaves, I'm using this as a cushion and also as a blocker. So the fish is really at the heart of the bamboo and all the juices cannot escape. You can see some of the juice coming out already. And there you go, your stuffed barracuda in a bamboo. And right now, it's time to put the bamboo with the barracuda into the fire. And I'll see you in a while when it's ready to cook. And then we're gonna go straight to Ian. We'll be doing some nice lion fish on a plank of wood. See you soon. 
Wow, look at all these beautiful dasheen plants. And I'm going to use the dasheen leaf for my fish dish. And although they're poisonous in their roll form, when they're cooked, these will give a nice kind of earthy, uh, leafy, woody flavor to my fish. So while Didier's barracuda is slowly simmering away in those nice bamboo tubes, which will give a nice woody flavor, I'm going to make uh, my lionfish and I'm going to wrap it in one, I've got two, so I'm going to wrap one with the dasheen leaves and some of those Caribbean flavors and the other one I'm just going to leave it natural on the plank uh, which is very uh, traditional in Native America but the uh, you know centuries ago plank cooking so I'm going to put both of these on the plank with two different cooking methods so starting with a little bit of uh, cloves Not too much, cloves are quite strong, so you don't want too much. Some nice sea salt. Splashing of cayenne pepper, just to give a little bit of a kick. Splashing of coriander. Look at that, whoa! Give some nice flavors in there. So I like to add different types of peppers in my pepper mill. Whatever you have, you know. I like, you know, white pepper, pink pepper, green, uh, black pepper, Sichuan pepper. Gives a nice uh, aroma to the uh, fish or anything else, you know. So I'm adding a little bit of coconut oil. And basically, keeping that very simple, I'm just gonna wrap it up in the dasheen leaves, just like so. And I gotta keep that there on the side, okay? Okay, for my next fish, I'm just gonna slice some onions, like so. And my fish is going to sit just there, just like so. I have a few baby potatoes that I want to, you know, slice on there with me, right? So with my onions, there, I'm going to give a little nice uh, caramelized flavor to my lionfish, okay? Going to pop him just so. I'm going to keep this as natural as possible. Pepper. A bit of ground nutmeg. A couple of slices of ginger. And I'm going to put that inside the fish. Just to give the aroma that will sink through the flesh. coconut oil. I'm going to place that on the barbecue just so. I want the fish to be as natural as possible. Uh, just using the elements of the flavor, the wood, the onions, those little spices I put on there. I don't want to put too much to this fish. I want to really let the fish speak for itself. Okay, so placing my wood on the barbecue just so. Right now, it's, the fish has been cooked for about 15 to 20 minutes on the fire. The sun is really scorching me, but you know what? It's ready to eat. So it's time to take the bamboo. And you know what? I've been smelling the bamboo, smoking inside. I, I can smell the spices. I can just coming out of the bamboo. Uh, you see, it's just ready by itself. It's ready. Let's take it out one time and see what's happened. Wow, it's hot. And that's been cooking for a good 20 minutes. And I've got this banana leaf was blocking the entrance. And I can see that fish is well cook inside of it. Oh my god. Now there's a tricky way of doing it. Either crack it like that and it starts opening. Or just drag it inside and you see the bamboo is coming off nicely. Oh my god that fish inside is unbelievable guys. And look it's coming out, it's coming out, it's coming out, it's coming out. Let's pull it one time. Look at this. Oh my god. Wow. Unbelievable. And we have a steamy barracuda with some beautiful seasoning, some of the hot pepper from Baden, and the lime meat turned yellow inside. I just want to tuck in one time. Wow, 
Look at this. Beautiful. Mm. Steam puff, look at that, it's coming off. Mm -hmm. Oh my god. That is soft. Woody, Wonderful. Slightly woody flavour. Yeah. Mm. Darius, you want to come and try? Come. We have our friend Darius, a fisherman here uh, from Chorcel. His family is all from here. Um, he has a beautiful restaurant down the road. So let's get his uh, let's get his point of view. Bamboo cooking. Bamboo cooking is very nice. <laughs> <laughs> wow! <laughs> you see that one? <laughs> Unbelievable. You enjoy your. your <laughs> Listen, I ain't sharing that at all. This is mine. Guys, until next time. Take care. See you next time. My fish is ready now, it's got that nice woody flavour from the plank, which by the way was a cinnamon plank, it was a plank of a cinnamon tree. Now my lionfish is ready and I can tell you this is soft and white flesh is really beautiful. Look at that. Mm. Soft, moist, flaky. I can tell you, my friends, the piece just dropped down my chest. <laughs> <laughs> One for later. I tell you, this is delicious. If you ever have a chance to try lionfish, do so. Absolutely beautiful. in the central north of the island in this beautiful lush green rainforest. Look at that. Wow. My god, look at this thing here. Hey man. Yeah. Where is this a boat? A boat? A boat protector. Wow. That is impressive. Look at that. How old is it? Well, he ain't gonna try and eat me. I'm way too much of a meal for him. Um, five years old. How big is he? Fifteen, sixteen feet. Imagine that, huh? I would be a meal for that one. He or she? A he. Does he bite? No. Uh, keep it at that, I don't want to do anything bad. Cheers mate. How beautiful is that? And that's from this area where we are? Here you have some at 15 feet? Yeah. Wow. I that's won't be camping down here, I can tell you that one. <laughs>